When you're finished pouring the milk on your cereal and you toss the jug into the recycling bin, that recycling bin gets tossed into a trash truck. The truck goes to a processing facility where everything's sorted out, paper, glass, plastic. Every piece of plastic has a number stamped on the bottom, one through seven. Our number is number two, high density polyethylene. That all gets dumped into the extruder, which is really um, in the part that you can't see. The inside is a shaft with, a, with an auger type uh, uh, device that will heat that plastic to about 425 degrees, mixes it up thoroughly, comes out the end, looks uh, a lot like your old Play-Doh factory did. And uh, you'll notice that it uh, comes out of the die smaller and gets bigger immediately rising much like yeast rises in bread uh, then we want to stop that process immediately so once it goes into the cooling tanks uh, we're hitting it with freezing water with thousands of little jets that uh, will cool that surface temperature down to room temperature and then it goes through an air dry process it it reheats itself up again on the surface we run it through a second water tank which cools it down again then it runs through the next machine, which is an embossing machine. Uh, that embosser will heat the surface back up to 300 degrees and emboss a pattern. Just, it's really been an interesting business to be a part of uh, because there's been so many different things that are traditionally made from wood that wear out. And that's really the benefit of plastic. I mean, it's nice that it's recycled, and, and I feel great that we're saving the environment and we're saving the earth and we're turning trash back into something useful. But if it wasn't good, people wouldn't buy it. And truly, we have something that is much better than the alternative.